Sabrent, come in. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of APA Anime Edition. Today we're looking at Fairy Tale. An anime as long as 175 episodes and to still be continued in future. Apparently, it's supposed to continue sometime in 2014. Rumors say spring, but don't take my word for it. This anime is set in a fictional world of Fiore, where magic is a big part of people's lives. And some people are more gifted than others. These ones are known as magicians or wizards. The same thing, it's just they translate differently, depending on what they feel like. <laughs> Often, magicians join guilds. Okay, I'm gonna call them wizards, because wizards sound something more awesome than magicians. When you think of magicians, you think of people who do magic tricks, as opposed to actual magic. So I'm gonna say wizards, okay? <laughs> Often wizards join guilds, because that way they can work together, they can earn money together, they take missions, and it's generally people who abide by the same principles and beliefs and etc etc. That's why you get different get different kinds of guilds. Like you get the legal kind of guilds, which are governed by the world government as well, you know, so they've got to follow the rules. But then you get the illegal guilds, the dark guilds, that generally take quests like assassinations. That's actually forbidden by law in Fiore. That's why they're dark guilds. <laughs> this series follows a guild named Fairy Tale. And you learn the story behind the name a little bit later on. It's not that great, but still. Fairy Tale is a very rambunctious guild of good-hearted people who do odd jobs to make a living. But they're all essentially people who have good beliefs and who just enjoy a fun time. It starts off with a blonde girl named Rushi Hatophilia, who is a very she's she's quite she's quite intelligent, I suppose. She's not a bimbo by any means, no. Although sometimes she does have bimbo moments, I've got to be honest. Fan service! She meets a boy with pink hair named Natsu Doragumi and his cat, well, his cat friend, I suppose, named Happy. He's so cute! Oh my goodness, he's so adorable. But you see, Lushi has a dream. She wants to join a guild. And not just any guild, she wants to join Fairy Tale. But, but, but guess what? Natsu is a part of fairy tale, but she doesn't realize it till I think the end of the first episode. That's not a spoiler, it's the first episode. Come on. Fairy tale is quite lighthearted in its overarching feel, but at the same time, there are quite a few moments where it pulls at the right heartstrings. I know I cried quite a bit, but we all know what a softie I am. <laughs> there are many, many arcs in this anime. Generally, they are very well timed out, like. It, they don't take too long to get through. I, I, I personally didn't feel many of them took very long at all. I think... This is just a guess. I did not actually calculate this, but I think the longest an arc felt was maybe 30 to 40 episodes, but that was it. And like, when you get used to watching things like One Piece, where an arc is like 100 episodes long, it's quite short. <laughs> As with many animes, one of Fairy Tale's key features is the importance of friendship. Oh, and I didn't mention that this, this, the overarching story always leaves you with many questions. Where the hell are the dragons? What happened to them? I want to see more dragons. Dragons! It's always with the dragons. Nearly every character you are introduced to has some kind of defining characteristic, making them memorable in some way or another. Even if you forget about them, there's there's gonna be something, so if they come back, you will be like, oh, I remember that guy! But you won't like actively think, hmm, I wonder what happened to this character. Except for every now and then. <laughs> Hiro Sensei has got a very good ability to make you really like the characters you're supposed to like, and actually make you want to pretty much kill the characters you're supposed to hate, so that's, that's a good thing. There are no real holes in the backstories of the main characters, although there are a few backstories that we haven't gotten to know enough of, I think, personally. Like, characters like Gajiru, for example. I want to know more of his backstory. He's awesome! <laughs> and with Fairy Tale, I think the only really unimportant characters are the ones in the very few in number filler arcs. Like, seriously. I think the longest filler arc there was was, uh, 
Zantopia arc. That one was that one was a filler, and I think that one was like 20 episodes long or something. Especially like that's not long, especially when you compare it to Bleach. I swear they had a hundred episode filler arc. I don't know why. Just don't know. The art style is quite modern since this anime ran from 2009 to 2013. The battle music is some of the most awesome music you will ever hear. <laughs> As Natsu would say, Moite kazo! The music is used very well to set the tone for scenes from sad to silly to just all around awesome. <laughs> the anime does a fantastic job of making scenes pull all the right heartstrings. So keep a box of tissues nearby and be ready for the laughs that are in between. You can quickly see that there's a lot that Hiro Sensei wants to do with the fairy tale universe. Because there's just, there's so many questions, there are so many characters, and like he always, he always hints that there's a little more. He's always like, yeah, keep reading, keep watching, and you'll find this out. I want to know this stuff. Like, seriously, I'm so impatient. This is why I hate watching ongoing things like The Walking Dead, One Piece, Log Horizon, Outbreak Company. These kinds of ongoing things just drive me insane because I want to know what happens next. And then eventually I lose a little bit of interest and then I watch it again and it's like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen now? And I think the most important thing about this anime is that it, its fight scenes do not take too long. Like, the longest fight scenes are generally like the final boss of the arc. That is the longest fight scene you will generally see. And I think the best thing is that you don't get these emo monologues about their backstory like My mother died right in front of me. We know. You told us 20 times. You told us in episode 60 that your mother died. I know that. I'm making reference to Bleach. I'm just saying. Okay, I don't remember the first time Ichigo told us his mother died, but that's not the point here. The point is, there's no emo monologues. I hate emo monologues with a passion. I think the most emo it gets is when one of the main characters is fighting and she says to her, she says to herself to keep her going, I have friends counting on me, I've got to keep going, I cannot lose to this dickbag. It would be awesome if she said it like that. <laughs> I would give this an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I know, I just gave one 8 out of 10, but 8 out of 10 is very suitable for this one too. While it is a very well done and well rounded anime, with some great battle dynamics. Like, I love the battle dynamics so much, I can't tell you. The story does have a few plot holes in itself. Like, you feel like there, there could be more, like in each arc. There could be more, and sometimes it feels like he might focus a little bit on irrelevant details when there are more relevant things he could put in there. But at the same time, it's still really good. And I mean, every now and then I have to be honest. The whole importance of friendship bit gets a little bit mushy. <laughs> I, like seriously, sometimes I get a little bit irritated, it's like, yes I know, your friends are important to you, that is good, they're important to me too, stop reminding me, please. <laughs> but sometimes it's very hot and warm. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy Fairy Tale. Please tell me how you felt about it and I will see you next time. Thanks guys, bye!